Hi everyone. Today we are talking about architectural scales and we're going to do a couple activities on the internet as well. Uh, so uh, let's talk a little bit about what architectural scales look like and how to use those rulers. So let's get started. All right, so a scale is a dimension defining the size or location of a feature. A scale drawing is the drawing that shows a real object uh, with accurate sizes except they have been reduced or enlarged by a certain amount. And that certain amount is what we're talking about, a scale. So architectural scale is a specialized ruler designed for measuring these drawings. So step one, you gotta look to see what your blueprint or your drawing scale is. So here you can see that uh, the scale is one quarter inch is equal to one foot, zero inches. So you want to rotate, the architectural ruler looks something like this. It has three sides to it, um, and each side has two things uh, that you can pick from. And then, in fact, on the same side, there's another thing on the other end of the ruler as well. So you got to look for the markings on the side, right, like this, for the scale that you're looking for. So in this case, the one we just looked at, that is in quarter inch scale. So we need to go to the quarter. When we're measuring, the first thing you want to do is line, line whatever you're measuring on the drawing up to the zero. Okay, and realize that you're in this quarter inch scale, so the zero and the two and the four and the six are what you're looking at. Now in between that you have these other numbers, which are for a different scale coming from the other side of the ruler, the other direction. Um, but here, this would be the, since this, and then you got to look for what's in the middle of two and zero. So this is the middle, this would be one, this would be half, and this would be three, uh, one and a half. So you just kind of got to figure out what each line is doing for you and your scale, not necessarily the scale down here or these smaller lines and the numbers that are with those. But these numbers here, the two, the four, the six, you all have uh, the five and the five and a half and the four and a half in between those major lines that are numbered. Tricky. All right, so once we figured out like we're getting all the way to the 10, but not beyond. So the line stops somewhere like here, I think, uh, if, when we get to the 10. So once you determine that line in feet, then you're gonna slide that back so that's even with the line of the whole number, the 10. So see how they got it even here? That's gonna allow us then to look to see how much extends past the zero and get our inches because down here, we've got little lines to, to mark the inches. And in this case, what we have is zero and then we have a, a little one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inches, seven inches, eight inches, nine inches, 10 inches, 11 inches, 12 inches. So we know that each foot has 12 inches in it. We've talked about that a number of times already. So that's how we have to figure that out. And it's different for each scale. As you can see up here on the one inch scale, they have the three marked because it was big enough to write it in there. And they have the one and the two here. And then they also have a quarter, uh, a half, and three quarters of an inch. Because it's a little bit bigger scale, we can get a little bit more detail. All right. So uh, count the number of shorter lines marked between the zero mark and the far mark of the scale. That's what I was just doing, the little lines. You know, here's the zero and the end mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then that's gonna help you divide the scale into fractions of a foot. Since there are 12 inches in a foot, you can read the smaller increments as inches as there are 12 of them. So because there was 12, we know that this is marked in inches. Where on the other one that we're looking at down here, it's got more than 12 little lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, a whole bunch. So we'd have to figure that out, but we can kind of get help with these markings here as well, okay? So this is tricky, figuring this out, how it's marked and what each mark means. All right, so step six. So each mark represents one inch in this quarter inch thing because there are 12 marks, but it represented two inches if there are only six marks. So here you can see the eighth inch scale. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. From zero to the end mark, we have six ones. 
So thinking again, you know, if you take 12 inches um, and you divide that by six, that means each mark, because you know this is a foot, from this mark, from zero to the last mark is a foot. Um, and so if you take 12 inches and divide that by six, because there's six marks, so it gives you each mark is two inches. Yeah, I know that's a lot. The more you use it, the better you'll get. And there are certain ones you use more often than others. All right, so here's another example, 24 marks. So again, we can see they make them bigger and smaller to kind of help figure it out. So this is typical. The longest one here is your three inches, your six inches, your nine inches. And then in between, you have a little bit shorter ones. That's going to mark your one, your two. Your, this is going to be your uh, four and your five. And this is going to be your seven and your eight. And this is going to be your 10 and your 11. And then, of course, the last one is your 12. Um, and then in between that, you have your halves. So that's they figured that out by taking 24 marks, counting all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All these up down to here is 24. Divide, dividing that by 12, and you get one half, all right? 12 divided by 24, the marks go on the bottom, gets one half, yeah, okay? So, but I figured it out by just kind of reasoning it out, that if this is to 12, and I can see these marks are, there's 12 of these marks, then the little marks in between are halves. So you can reason it out that way. So what if they're 48? Again, the 48 goes on the bottom. So this is going to tell us that they're a quarter. Yep, there it is, quarter inch for each of the little marks. All right, that's tricky. All right, so now we're back to our drawing. And so now we can, uh, we've measured from here. We were measuring from here to here. And now we're, you know, we've got the 10 feet. Now we need to figure out how many inches are before we get to our next foot. All right, so combine the feet measurements and the inch measurements to get the total length. So in this case, for example, it measured 10 feet, 4 inches. So the total length in architectural notation is 10, comma, 4, quotation marks. Well, not comma, single quote, uh, double quote. Okay, because those that means inches, this means feet. So 10 feet, 4 inches. So you don't have to write all that out. You can write it like that. That's sweet. And so that's how we use an architectural ruler. So today, we're going to go to a couple websites and practice. First, we're going to start with this game. And I want you guys to play this game. And what the, keeps the score down here, uh, we get three strikes, you're done. And I want you to screenshot this and put it into the slideshow that's in the uh, uh, Google Classroom assignment. And just paste that in. Uh, there's different, in the Google assignment, there's links to how to screen capture or screenshot your screen if you're using a Windows, if you're using a Mac or an Apple product. Uh, and then there's a video for and, and directions on how to do it if you have a Chromebook. So there's directions on all three of those in the Google Classroom assignment today. And again, play the game, screen capture. You got to play it at least five times. I think that's what I said. Let me check this again. Uh, it says, yeah, play five times or until you get a score of 300 or higher. So if you get a score of 300 or higher, then most likely you know what you're doing and you don't have to screen capture anymore. Uh, but yeah, I want to see each time you play a game, you get three strikes. That game is over. Capture your screen. Pa paste that into the Google slide that's in the assignment. Uh, and that way I can see what you got. Do that at least five times, or at most five times. And if it's if you get the 300 as your score, then you can stop before five. So you got to paste that in there for me to see it. So that's one game we're playing. The other game is here, and again, these links to these websites are in the Google Classroom assignment. Uh, this is the other game. You have to install a, a Flash plugin, and so to do that, you're going to click here, and then allow it, and it pops up like this. I want to go through this with you right now, but again, you can see here's an architectural ruler. This is exactly what one looks like. Um, and so for best results, please maximize your browsers. So you, and you guys can read this. If you still cannot see well enough, try again on a computer with a better monitor. 
So if that's a problem, I don't let me know. But I think it's going to work on your guys' monitors. Most of you have been working really well with your computers. All right, so let's go on. All right, so this kind of goes over the same thing. How do you read one? So when using a scale, always begin at the zero and process, process to the right or to the left, depending on if you're doing this scale or the scale that's going this way, the 16, 18, 20, 22, all those are going this way. So it just depends. Along the ruler, depending on the individual scale. This edge of the ruler shows you the eighth. So here we are, the eighth scale is equal to one foot. So every eighth of an inch is actually one foot. So this is uh, you know, zero, this would actually be one, two, three, four. So a little tricky with the 46 there, but you're looking at the numbers as you look at the eighth scale, the zero is this high off the ruler. So you're looking at the numbers that go correspond with that height all the way across. Now each line does mean something for that scale, but you have to figure those out on your own. And so I just did it for you, one, two, three, four. All right, anyway. Um, you can drag the ruler back and forth with your mouse to see both ends. So here we go. Here's the quarter scale. Here's the A scale. Quarter scale, A scale. Okay? Checking things out here. Yeah, okay. Um, so look closely at the eighth scale. Reading from left to right, each tick mark on the scale represents one foot. And so we figured that out already no matter the length of the tick line note that not all tick marks are labeled so yeah we don't we don't have a label for this one we don't have a label for this one we don't have a label for this one but we do have a label for this one okay um the distance between zero tick and the fourth tick is four feet and that's why it's labeled four by now take a look at the quarter scale so we slide this over and you guys can do this as well reading from right to left Four scale increments represent only two feet. So again, here's zero, here's two. So this would be one, right? And in, in the middle, this would actually be a half. This would be one and a half. All right, so try these questions. What does the distance between labeled tick mark on the quarter scale, so make sure we're on the quarter scale, represent? And so each tick mark represents a half a foot. Oh, wait. What's the distance between, oh, label tick marks. Label, so you gotta be careful. Label tick marks, so that's two feet. Yay. What does the distance between the adjacent tick marks, one long and one short, represent on the A scale? So go over here to the A scale, take a look at it. One long and one short, what does that represent? That represents one. Yay. What is the distance between adjacent tick marks, one long and one short, represent on the quarter scale? So you come back over here. This is what I was thinking it was asking the first time. And so from one long to one short, how much is that on this scale? And we know that that's a half. Okay? That's how you do it. And then we're going to practice this, and I'm not going to go through that right now. Um, oh, yeah, well. So try measuring this line using the scale shown. So this is the quarter inch scale. You do not need to measure inches yet just indicate the whole number. So we're not doing inches yet. So basically what you want to do is start out at zero, right? Get it close to zero. And look here, using this scale, because again, we're on the quarter, so we're starting at zero. So that's these numbers. We're at 14. So we know it's more than 14 because it goes past 14, but that's the whole number. And so click on the scale size in bold Oh, to flip the rule. Oh, okay. So we're doing this quarter inch now. We can type in 14 feet, right? Then we can click on this and we can measure this line the same way. Here we are starting at the zero. Okay, so we can see that this is the things we're, we're not looking at these because this is where we're starting at zero. So this is one, so this would be one. And so, so on, you click on this. You guys can figure this out, start at zero. So 3 sixteenths, and we know that it's going to go, ooh, be tricky, tricky. 18, 20, we want the whole 19 is in the middle, okay? And so for right now, I'm just going to check these and see if I've done them so far. Yeah, I'm doing those right, and then I can continue on with the half, and you guys can do that for yourselves, and, and a screenshot this and put it into the slideshow, okay? Once you finish. Reading inches. All right, this gets a little bit trickier. 
study the cluster of short, shorter marks. So after the zero, or before the zero, however, <laughs> excuse me, you're looking at it, there are shorter marks. And, and so we have to figure out what those are divide into. So these lines divide one scale increment into fractions of a foot. So one scale from here to here is one foot. We need to figure out what each of these little ones are. Since there are 12 inches in a foot, you can read these smaller increments as if, as inches, if and only if there are exactly 12 of them. So look carefully at each scale and identify each in each case whether the smallest increment represents exactly one inch, more than one inch or less than one inch. So here we are on the eighth scale and there are not 12, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six. So these are gonna represent more than one inch because there's less than 12. I mean, that's tricky. Um, let's go to the quarter inch scale. So here we do have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to this one. So this is gonna be exactly. Let's go ahead and check my answers. Good. Now you do the rest, screenshot it, and put it into the document on Google Classroom. All right, so here's our demonstration. So we're gonna put these two techniques together. So this demonstration does include audio if you wanna to listen to that. Um, then we can keep going. So the, you can toggle sound on and off at any time. So there you go. All right, so the first thing, let's begin. Let's turn that off. All right, so position one end of the line at zero. So what scale are we gonna use? Okay, so we're gonna use, let's start with the, oh, let's start with the left. There we go. So this is how we do it. Watch them do it, actually, okay. And so we see that the whole number with the eighth scale, which again, this is zero, so it's these numbers. And the, the whole number, 44, is too far. So we can't go past it. We gotta come back to, I think this is 43, 42, 41, 40. Yeah, so this is 43, okay? Good, we got that right. Now we're going to slide it back to the 43 mark. So this, we're gonna make this line line up with the end of this side of the line, okay? Oh, I gotta do it. Is that right? No, they're gonna do it. All right, so here they go. Slide it right back, they zoomed in so we could see it better. All right, now we need to go read the inches. So we gotta look at the other side of the ruler. And so we can do this, so look, here's the zero and it's going past zero, one, two marks. So two marks on this one is actually four inches because this would, and count this up, two, four, six gets me halfway to a foot, eight, 10, 12 gets me all the way because there's 12 inches in a foot. So this is gonna again be four. So we got it right here, that's it. All right, now we're gonna do it with the quarter inch. Line it to zero. See what it, again, we're using these numbers down here. See what the, the, the largest whole number is. So here's 20, here's 21, here's 22. Because 21 should be right in the middle of 20 and 22. So this is 21. Yeah, this is 21 and a half, but we don't want that yet. We just want the whole number, whole feet, okay? So I say it's 21, let's see if I'm right. Yay! Now slide the scale until the far end of the line is aligned with the tick marker 21. So we're gonna move this 21 to the end of the line. I don't think we can do that ourselves, yeah. All right, so that's what it's gonna do. There it goes, sliding over. All right, now, once at the far end of the line correctly, you can look back at the zero end and read the inches. So let's go back to the zero end. All right, and we can see that there are 12 marks from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that means each one is a foot. This goes all the way to here, I believe. So that's six in the middle, seven, eight. So yeah, that's what they wrote here, eight inches. Okay. All right. So hopefully you guys understood that and you're good to go. So now you're gonna to go to practice and it's gonna you know, read through this. I'll do the first one for you. It's going to ask you what scale you're going to be in. So you're going to be in quarter inch scale. You come over here, click on quarter. 
We're going to drag this up. Quarter is on the right side. We're going to put our zero even with that. And it's going to snap to us because that's right now snap to the right end is on. And then I'm going to use my uh, magnifying glass. And I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. All right. So again, make sure I know what I'm doing here. This is zero at the bottom. So the bottom numbers are what I'm looking at. I get here. There's 40. But then there's 42 here. Another whole number in the, in the middle is going to be 41. So I'm going to put 41 in here. It, until you type that in, it won't let you go any farther. Um, and then, now that you've done that, it'll let you slide this to the 41. And you might want to keep this here. Make sure it's completely lined up and it actually still snapped right to it. So that's a good feature. Uh, in real life, you wouldn't have that feature. And then we can look at this side and see that, oh wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 lines in each uh, for this whole thing. So each one is, a, is an inch. And we can see that this is 3, 4. So I say it's 4 inches. Let's put that in here and check our answer. And we got it right. So before you check your answer, um, I want you to leave the magnifying glass there and take a screenshot of it. So here again, we're doing three inch, three inch ones. So we'll click on this. We're going to start with the, this is the three side. So we got to start up here like this. I'm going to show you when to take, okay? It's snapped to grid because that's turned to one. So that's nice. Just double check it to make sure. All right. So we know we're using the bottom numbers here. So our whole number is one. The closest whole number is one. And once we do that, we're going to take the one and put it right there. And it's snapped, hopefully, to there. Snapped to the left side, hopefully. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's lined up. All right, and so now we're going to look over here. And this is where I want you to take the screenshot as you type in the inches here. You said that this is, um, so here we can see 0, 3 inches, 6 inches, 7, 8, 9 is here. So this is a half. Uh, I think it's pretty close to 6 inches. So just have that right there. Type in your 6 inches. That's what you think it is. And then before you click check answer, take your screenshot. I will see if you're close enough and know that you're good. Take your screenshot. Put that in your Google Slides uh, in the Google Doc. I'm sorry, Google Classroom. Uh, and and then, uh, then check your answer. And I was right. Good. So once you check your answer, it changes it all up. So you got to make sure you take that screenshot before. You need to do, what did I say? Um, the practice. Let's do, I, let's do um, five of these practices. They have a whole bunch here. So you guys just do five practices, take five screenshots, and, and put that in the Google Doc. And that will be it. So five and five. Five games or 300 or higher. Um, of the roller game. And then once you get to this point, you need to do five screen captures here and put it in the Google Doc. Sorry, Google Slides in Google Classroom. And that's it, guys, for today. Hopefully you get that done.